everyone. How's it going? So today I really wanted to check out a save file that I just downloaded into my game. It's called the Sweetie Write save file, and I'm sure most of you know already, but uh, for those who don't, you can download save files made by other players so that when you start a new game, all the lots and townies have been replaced with new and better ones. Um, I'll leave a link for this save file in the description box, so definitely check it out if you want to mix up your game a little. Um, there are tons of amazing save files out there. Uh, some are only for base game, some only use the packs that go like with their respective worlds, but this one uses all the packs and I have all the packs, so this one uh, really intrigued me and apparently it's updated pretty frequently, so I wanted to see, you know, what it's all about. Um, and so first thing, uh, when you go to the link, you're gonna get taken to this website, the Sims Forum. There are a couple of versions, so this is like the latest one, and there, I like that there's a populated and an unpopulated version, so I actually downloaded both because I want to check out the populated one today. For my own gameplay, I'll probably use the unpopulated one because I have tons of Sims. <laughs> I like addicted to create a sim and I just I have so many sims that are just like waiting to be put into a new save. Basically after you download it you're gonna just put it into your saves folder and and you just want to make sure that you don't already have a save with the exact number because then it will overwrite it. So just back up your saves before doing anything and then you can change the name of the save before you put it in uh, just to make sure that you don't overwrite any of your saves because that would be very upsetting. So I already installed, well, I already downloaded everything and so I'm in my game now. Let's just start with Willow Creek. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I love that all of the houses and buildings and everything look so like uniform like they just look like they all belong in this world pretty amazing uh, this must have taken so long and every house is populated it looks like there's no starter homes with no sims or anything but you could always delete one like penny here we could delete her if we wanted i'm not going to but uh, let's go to Oasis Springs okay so i love that they kept the same aesthetic I don't know anything about building, but it looks good to me. <laughs> so let's see here. New crest. This looks really, really good. There's a gym, a flower shop, library, vet clinic. Okay, cool. I don't even know where to begin. I'm just going to like look at the households here. Wow, this is amazing. It makes me want to just start a new game. Like, but I just want to check out like some of the builds like up close. This one looks really cool. I'm going to look at this one. Okay, so the kids are home, but no one else is. Okay, that's good. All right, so we're here. We just loaded in. Why is the plumb bob here? Oh, okay. Um, it's nighttime, and the creator did say that it was nighttime because uh, they don't use mods or anything. So um, it's just going to start at night, but you can just, if you use um, UI cheats, you can just change the time if you want, which I'm just going to do that now because I want to see this like during the day. We got some pregnancy starts here <laughs> and a death. Okay, someone's died already. Cool. Okay, let's look at the build. Oh my god. Okay, this is so nice. This is so much nicer than anything I would ever do. I love how like it's all so matchy. I know some people probably wouldn't like that, but I love that. Okay, so what are their traits and everything? A little bookworm, family-oriented, business savvy. Okay, they have likes and dislikes too. Okay, this is amazing. Um, and they, they have skills. They have a parenting skill, which makes sense. Love this. And then I think there's also like a backstory with each family. How do I see that from here? I, I don't even know, but I'm just gonna go back. Okay, so let's see if we can read this. Okay, so the Blackburns are a wealthy family. 
Dad, Glenn, is a retired athlete turned politician. Mom, Catherine, is a stay-at-home mom and freelance writer. Tate is athletic like his dad. He loves spending time playing basketball with his dad on the weekends. Cassie is an inquisitive little girl. She's always babbling questions and really has a thirst for learning new things in the world around her. Okay, I love this. This must have taken so long. Let's look at let's look at the gym. All right, so we're at the gym and oh my gosh, this is so cool up here. Okay, so so there's like all the workout equipment and oh, a little like yoga area here and like this is the instructor instructor's yoga mat and then there's like a downstairs for the bathrooms let's see what's up here more gym equipment okay so there's no pool or anything you could easily add a pool here though like that would not take long at all oh i forgot to look if there's like law traits or anything okay yeah this one has bracing breezes and natural light and also simple living i think simple living is a lot challenged on like most every house which is super cool um i actually i haven't played with simple living i've watched let's plays where they've played with simple living but and it looked you know a little bit too challenging but i've i haven't actually done it myself okay i want to check out let's see i want to check out mount coma Rebbe. okay i love how there's so many like big families um uh, with like children and stuff because when you go to school you'll meet like other kids and teens and stuff okay so this actually has an empty lot interesting i want to check out this one okay this is so beautiful um i am using a reshade by the way this is with it off but we're not gonna look at that so <laughs> i just wanted to tell you for people who don't know about well it's technically g shade but yes let's look here Okay, again, I love how everything is, like, so matchy-matchy. I don't know the word. <laughs> I should have read the backstory before I came, but let me just hit play really quick so that the Sims are actually not just standing there awkwardly. Really nice pool and backyard. Oh my god, this world is so pretty. I love it so much. And then, is this a garage? A garage with nothing in it so let's look at all of the sims here okay so she is in the salary person career she has some skills she has ambitious self-assured proper and likes and dislikes oh, okay so it looks like they turned off the fame so that they won't just like gain fame i wonder if they did that with every sim that's pretty cool because then you could just turn it on if you were trying to gain fame but it is kind of annoying that they just like gain fame for like every little thing that they do like ordering drinks for a group like why does that gain fame when you don't do anything else like it doesn't even make sense poor little toddlers out here all by himself let's go to different one now um also i wanted to read the bio for them okay sumie i'm not sure i'm so sorry is a workaholic and barely spends time with her husband yoshikazu yoshikazu and their four kids as a result most of the child care falls on yoshikazu this makes it hard for him to get his work done as he works from home and there isn't anyone to look after jiro <laughs> can they find a balance that will work for everyone that's cute i'm gonna see if there's anything else that i want to look at here so there's the bathhouse some rental lots let's look at the restaurant because i always feel like i need more restaurants in my game oh okay so this is owned by somebody it's owned by takumi i don't know where he lives oh, okay that's cool so let me just look at his bio really quick almost one year ago world-renowned chef takumi finally saved enough simoleons to open his own restaurant unfortunately the restaurant isn't doing as well as he had hoped uh, with more tourists coming to Mount Komorebi, Takumi hopes this will save his dream from becoming a nightmare. Oh, I'm gonna look at this restaurant. Poor Takumi. <laughs> also, I don't, I don't know if I'm saying these names correctly, but please correct me in the comments. Oh my god, this is so cute. Okay, I love this so much. Okay, so there's bathrooms upstairs and Takumi's office, it looks like. And then, okay, that's the little kitchen. Okay, the little hostess booth, a bar, and some tables. This is really cute for like a, a small business uh, restaurant. <laughs> One star. <laughs> I love that so much. And I love the backstory behind it too. That's super cute. Like you could, you could live in this world and then just go to that restaurant to try and support Takumi. Let's look at Tartosa because I'm interested in this as well. I'm interested in every world, <laughs> but 
Uh, let's see, who do I want to look at? After having bad luck in love for most of his young adult life, Peter has finally found the woman of his dreams. Liliana is everything he's hoped for. He's planning to propose soon, but is worried she might say no. Who's Liliana? Uh, I don't know. Let's look. Let's uh, look at him. This is so interesting. I feel like I'm like reading a book or something. <laughs> okay, this house is super cute. Um, let's look at his relationship weird maybe it didn't like register but i don't know who liliana is okay well apparently he has a girlfriend i don't know i don't know who liliana is okay well i'll have to look let's look at his stuff here so he's um an art critic and he has some skills here likes and dislikes he's also out of the spotlight i love that all the sims are just like defaulted out of the spotlight um because that's just more realistic oh i haven't looked at the calendar yet okay so there's summer vacation and it looks like actually each season is four weeks which is actually like a little bit too much for me personally so i'd probably change this to two weeks each but this is still really cool that there's like holidays and stuff harvest fest winter fest new year's eve also new year's day love day spring fest for the house here i like that um these houses don't have a ton of clutter in them because you can like add what you want you know when you start playing with the sim or if you want to like delete these sims and move your own sims in you know you can personalize it because i actually i like decorating i just don't like to do the building stuff as much so these houses are like perfect for that and there's also like in some of the houses there's like empty rooms and stuff so you can add on i don't know this is just really like player friendly like instead of just having a house that's already like all done not that there's anything wrong with that obviously like some people want that but this is just a really good base in my opinion and then obviously like the outside is beautiful and like already done okay so this is a uh, henford on bagley let's look at them Okay, let's read the thing first. Uh, Drew and Royce adopted their twin sons, Dax and Finn, when they were toddlers. They never knew someone so small could capture their hearts so much. Drew and Royce are excited to teach them the ways of the family farm. Dax would much rather spend time inside playing video games than tending to the farm. Finn, on the other hand, loves everything there is to do around the farm, from feeding the chickens to watering the crops. Okay, so we're here. And this is such a cute little house. We've got some chickens here. Well, no chickens, but some chicken coops. <laughs> so you can easily add one. This is adorable, nice and small and quaint. Let's look upstairs. Okay, two bedrooms. This is so cute and like realistically small, you know, like most kids share a room. Uh, let's look at their jobs here. Okay, so he's in the business career, and he's an athlete. Likes and dislikes. And they have skills. Kids don't have skills, which I like. Um, oh, okay, so he's in a club. The Mount Komarebi Scouts. I should look at the other clubs. Okay, so there's Bait and Tackle. We're going to catch the big one eventually. But there's the Brindleton Bay Scouts, so I'm assuming it's all teen and child, yeah. Code Monkeys, Tech Gurus, and Freelance Programmers. Not qualified, okay, cool. So there's requirements. Evergreen Harbor Singles, I like that. So you can find somebody. FWL Mentors, teaching the next generation of future world leaders. Foodies Unite. There's so many. Yes, you could easily, like join a club or make a new club or whatever you want to do really all right let's see let's check out like one or two more things maybe oh, okay so there's a bookstore and an antique store that's super cool art supply store and they're all owned by families here i really want to see the antique store okay well this is their house first of all all right, so this is the inside of the house and then the upstairs. All right, let's go to their antique store. Oh, let's read their bio. 
Okay, so the Fitzsimmons family have lived in Henford on Bagley their whole lives. Archie grew up in this house and now he's raising his kids here. His parents were farmers and he has taken over the farm. They've also taken over Florence's parents' antique shop, Finchwick Antiques. Evie and Alfie love living on the farm, but Clementine dreams of moving to the big city and becoming a fashion photographer. That's cool. Okay. All right, so... This is cute. There's a little sitting area out here. And then inside the store. Oh my god, this is so cute. <laughs> Love these little lamps here. Is everything for sale already? Okay, cool. So you could come in here and just buy whatever. And I bet the prices are marked up like <laughs> a lot because it's an antique store and at least they should be. <laughs> but that would be more realistic to buy things from here. And then upstairs, okay, so there's some antique furniture up here. That's cool. Everything's for sale. Okay, this is adorable, I love it. So let's see here, what about Brightchester? Okay, Pepper's Pub. This is really nice. It matches with the aesthetic of the world, which is really cool. I love that. And then, okay, so it's just a little pub, not anything too crazy, which I think is realistic for a small university town. Upstairs, we've got the bathroom and then foosball and a ping pong table there. I love that. I might just look at one of the dorms or something. Let's see, there's also a library, a gym, and then some little houses here. I think I'm gonna look at this one, and I wanna read the bio here. Okay, so since the day her sister gave her her first camera, Lexi has been obsessed with photography. She's a communications major at the University of Rochester. She aspires to have her own photography studio one day, and she's so self-assured that she knows that will become a reality. Bryce is a self-assured physics major who dreams of becoming a mechanical engineer. He's enjoying every second of you bright life and can't wait for more. All right, so here's the dorm. Looks like this is the main floor. And then we've got the little kitchen area, which I don't actually know. Did they have the kitchen areas like this in the dorms or did you have to go to the commons before? But either way, I'm happy if this is functional because it's annoying to have to go, even if it's more realistic. Okay, so it looks like there's some sims here that have possibly claimed uh, rooms. I really love the aesthetic of these rooms. And yeah, that's, that's that, it looks like. All right, so I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. Um, I couldn't look at every world because, I mean, then this video would be, you know, <laughs> a million years long. Um, but I can just quickly go through and look at um, just the buildings and everything and all the worlds. I don't even look at Windenburg at all. So there's a spa, a restaurant, vet clinic, cafe, library. There is a lounge, a park, the ancient ruins, museum, pool. There's just like everything here. Okay, this is really detailed and amazing. And then I didn't even look at San Myshuno at all. Like, there's so much to explore here. Um, I would do another video, but I don't know if anyone's even interested in that. Um, and I, I'm not sure how I would structure it. It would be cool to start a Let's Play in this world. I do have a mini-series Let's Play idea um, planned out in my notes. It's super detailed. Well, for a mini series. <laughs> um, but it would be ideal to play in this save. Um, I might just replace some of the families and whatnot. All right, so that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and if you stuck through to the end, leave me a comment letting me know. If you want to see more of this save, I'm probably just going to do a let's play or something using this save so we would you know get to know the world and everything or the world's plural 
uh, through that naturally. But if you enjoyed this, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It would really mean a lot to me as I'm just starting out here. So again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!